Ever been spoken over in a meeting and wish you had a response that didn't get you marginalized or blindsided even further? Today I've got exactly what you need to have you heard in meetings and interactions from this moment forward. Hey, it's Jo, founder of JoeWiseLeadership.com. When you can't speak effectively in meetings or be heard at work, it stops you from being seen and noticed for what you can do and where you add value. And it feels like crap. This week over wine, a friend was telling me about the first leadership meeting she went to in a new role. She was furious and still shocked actually. She started to speak in a meeting and one of her colleagues placed his hand on her shoulder, patted it and spoke right over her, completely cutting her off. Now I wish this was uncommon, but you and I know We've all experienced this in some form, haven't we? My friend was flabbergasted at the time and she had no response and she was damn sure it was never going to happen again. So together we put together a speak over statement. So next time she was prepared with what to say and it landed in the way that allowed her to keep her integrity and continue to be respected within the leadership team. So what is a speak over statement you ask? Well, thank you for asking. A speak over statement is a short and effective statement you can deliver when you're spoken over or not heard. So you can say what you are planning to and have it come across in the way you intended and lay the foundations for more respectful interactions from then on. Let me give you some examples of what clients have created in our coaching sessions. So how do these sound to you? Dan, I wasn't finished and continue what you were saying without a pause. Or maybe, Hold on, Sam, as you finish your statement. Or if you want something a little lighter, whoa, I'm not done, and continue what you're saying. Feel free to use or tweak any of these to make them your own. And to make it even more convincing and powerful, keep these pointers in mind. You want a short, punchy statement to deliver and continue straight onto what you were saying without a pause. Drop any underplay or apology language like just sorry, and even please. And you want to come across sounding firm and strong, calm and confident. And that all comes with practice. So grab one of the statements mentioned or create one that works for you and get in front of a mirror. Yes, a mirror. Trust me. And start practicing your speak over statement to deliver with confidence. And when you're ready to really take things to a new level in your career, leadership and life, Click on the link below and let's have a conversation about how you can make that happen by having a free strategy session direct with me so you're not in the same position next year. Click on the link below and see my schedule now.